Hi friends, it's John, your carnivore teacher, Alpha, and today we're diving into a topic that confuses almost everyone who is trying to improve their health. Starch. People say, but it's just potatoes. It's natural. It's whole grain. It's better than sugar. But here's the truth. Every form of starch is simply long chain glucose. And the moment it enters your mouth, your body begins turning it into sugar. Today I'm going to explain exactly what starch is, which foods are full of it, how your enzymes break it down, and why it becomes glucose so quickly with physiological clarity. Let's get into it. What is starch? Starch is a carbohydrate, but not just any carbohydrate. It is made of long chains of glucose molecules linked together. Imagine beads on a necklace, hundreds and even thousands of glucose units connected in long branching strands. There are two main types of starch, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is a long straight chain, slower to break down, found in foods like legumes, beans, and some grains. Amylopectin, highly branched structure, much faster to digest, found heavily in potatoes, white rice, bread, crackers, cereals. No matter which structure you start with, your body ends with glucose. That's the whole purpose of starch, to rapidly provide sugar. Which foods are high in starch? Any plant that stores energy for future growth stores it as starch. It's the plant's fuel tank. Here are the biggest dietary starch sources. Starchy vegetables, potatoes, white, red, gold, or sweet, yams, cassava, plantains, corn, grains. All grains are starch. Wheat, bread, pasta, crackers, cereal, oats, rice, white, brown, or wild, barley, rye, cornmeal, beans and legumes, lentils, chickpeas, kidney beans, black beans, and then there's processed starches, flour, tortillas, chips, cookies, cakes, pizza crust, noodles. If it's crisp, crunchy, fluffy, chewy, or comfort food, it's probably a starch. So how does starch break down into glucose? Let's go step by step. Here's what most people don't realize. The moment starch touches your tongue, digestion begins. Let's walk through it. Number one, the salivary amylase begins the breakdown. Your saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase. Its job, break starch into smaller glucose chains immediately. This is why bread tastes slightly sweet if you chew it long enough. The starch is literally turning it into glucose in your mouth. Step two, stomach pause. Amylase gets diluted in the acidic stomach environment, so starch digestion slows down here, but very little breakdown happens in the stomach overall. This is mainly mechanical churning. The real action is next. Number three, pancreatic amylase finishes the job. Once starch enters the small intestine, the pancreas releases pancreatic amylase, a much stronger enzyme. Pancreatic amylase breaks starch into maltose, two glucose units, maltotriose, three glucose units, and alpha limit dextrins, short glucose chains. But the job isn't done until every chain becomes single glucose units. And that happens with number four, brush border enzymes. They turn it into pure glucose. The lining of your small intestine, the brush border, releases enzymes like maltase, sucrase isomaltase, and glucoamylase. These snip the chains into individual glucose molecules. At that moment, starch is 100% glucose. This glucose is absorbed immediately into your bloodstream. That's why starchy foods spike blood sugar, insulin, hunger, cravings, and fat storage signaling. Even slow starches become glucose. It just takes a few more minutes. So why does starch hit the body like sugar? Let's clarify that. 
Sugar is glucose plus fructose. That's table sugar. Starch is long chains of glucose. Both end up raising blood glucose. One just starts the job already broken down. Your body treats starch like a time-release sugar bomb. Easy to digest, rapidly absorbed, potent insulin response, big dopamine hit, quick energy crash, increased hunger a few hours later. This is why people who eat starch-heavy diets snack constantly. They feel hungry, they have up and down energy, struggle with their weight, and fight cravings. Your biology is responding exactly as designed. What happens when you remove starch? When you stop eating starch and switch to the proper human diet, meat, eggs, fish, and animal fats, everything changes. Hunger drops. No more roller coaster blood sugar swings. Insulin stabilizes. This allows access to stored body fat. Cravings disappear. Glucose addiction finally turns off. Satiation strengthens. Protein and fat active CCK, leptin and PYY, your natural appetite controls. And energy becomes steady and stable. Now your body burns fat instead of chasing glucose spikes. This is why people on the proper human diet say, I can't believe how little I think about food now. Because you're not fighting your biology, you're finally working with it. Let's bring all of this together. Starch isn't mysterious. It's not complex. It's not healthy carbs. <laughs> it is simply glucose chains waiting for your enzymes to release them. The moment starch hits your mouth, it starts turning into sugar. And the moment that sugar hits your bloodstream, insulin rises, which stops fat burning, triggers cravings, and keeps you stuck on the glucose dependency cycle. When you eliminate starch and return to real human food, meat, fish, eggs, and animal fats, your appetite resets, your metabolism stabilizes, and your body can finally heal. Eat like a human, not like a grain processor, and you'll feel the difference fast. Please share this video with somebody who doesn't understand that starch is sugar, it's glucose. Click the thumbs up if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon. I put out a video every day and leave me a question, a comment, or a suggestion, and I'll write you back. Have a good day.